G'day, I'm Bruce Wallace from Beetle Buster Baseboards. Um, I've been asked recently to um, do a video on how to install the Beetle Buster. Um, even though it comes with, when it's uh, delivered to you, it comes with a detailed instruction sheet. Um, not a lot of people like instruction sheets, so they like to see videos. And also you get diatomaceous earth along with um, the shipment of the, the baseboard. So today we're going to um, do a, an install, we um, all set up here, ready to go. So what we do is we take our Beetle Buster out of the box, it comes in a, uh, a white box, uh, perfectly packed, and uh, you've got to put it beside your existing hive. So you got it to that stage there, you've got to get the inspection tray out and you've got to put the diatomaceous earth on it. Uh, when, the DE, when the beetle lands on the DE in the inspection tray, it kills them straight away, so it takes them probably about half an hour. But the best way to uh, do that, I've found, is with a, a sieve. I've been using this for years, and um, what it does, it just finely granulates the, uh, graduates the um, diatomaceous earth onto the, onto the tray. Very, very simple. A bit harder when it's a bit windy out there, but uh, you've got to pick your days, I suppose. But that's basically all you need, right? Um, if you're doing this, obviously you don't do it over top the baseboard like I'm doing here now, but probably preferable uh, further back and then come in and install the tray. You don't want to get any DE on the base here. Um, it's just not good for the bees. Bad for the beetle butt. Okay, so now we'll get to a stage where we've got the DE on the uh, under tray in the inspection tray there and what you do is you've, uh, you'll probably find that you'll have to use your hive tool to crack the, um, the bottom of the, 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 uh, uh, the brood box to the base because it will be stuck down pretty heavy because it's been there for such a while. So this is already, it just all that's got to happen is you've got to lift the brood box over and position it onto the Beetle Buster. Now with the existing uh, baseboard, it goes. It's not want, wanted or needed anymore. So we get to this stage here, you've got to understand that this used to be the area where the bees used to come in, which is the orientation flight. So what you have to do then is you have to put it back into its original position. The bees will keep continuing flying in and out and um, everything will be good. So at this stage here we're at where we've got to do a brood inspection now because it's no good just swapping the boxes over and hoping the beetle all just going to go down to the bottom. So what you've got to do is you've got to go through and do a brood inspection. Any beetle that are on the frames, shake them off or flick them off, try and get them out. If you flick them off onto the ground, that's fine because um, uh, what ends up happening, if they go to go back into the, into the hive, they're not going to make it up because of the baseboard. So you take your lid off and you've got your bees everywhere, so start looking and going through and do a brood inspection on each frame. So pretty important. Um, one recommendation I do, do say is that if you can do it in the middle of the day when the sun's at its highest, straight above, what it will do is it'll go down through the box and it'll drive the beetle down because the beetle doesn't like light. So go through and do all your brood inspection, check for the queen, check for um, 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 eggs and all that sort of thing, make sure the whole hive is a healthy hive. So when you get it to that stage, um, it's just a matter of putting the lid back on. If you've got a double, obviously you've got to take the honey off take the excluder off and so on. So it's uh, very important that you do a brood inspection uh, at this stage because while the hive's open, it's, it's the way to go. So that's basically it. Um, what we're doing is we just replace the lid and that's the way the Beetle Buster is installed. It's uh, very, very simple. So um, it's, not a, it's not a heavy job, but if you've got someone that can give you a hand, it's, it's probably a lot easier because some of these brood boxes can be pretty heavy so um, anyway that's the install of the Beetle Buster baseboard.